In this video, I'll be covering how to use Kami in conjunction with your learning management system to create solutions to your exemplar's tasks. Teachers may also use Kami to assign tasks and record feedback to give to students, which I've covered in another video. Kami is a great PDF editing and annotating app for schools. During school closures due to the coronavirus, schools may request a free premium Kami account to use through April. This will easily integrate with Google Classroom, Schoology, and Canvas, although you can just also use email to send and receive the documents you've edited with Kami. So let's get started. Once you've received your complimentary Kami account, you'll want to be sure to download the Kami extension. Then, from Google Classroom, another LMS, or your email, open the exemplars task that has been assigned to you. Click Open with Kami. When you click on the document, you may be prompted to make a copy. If so, it will automatically add your name to the task, which will be helpful for your teacher. The first thing to do is always read the task multiple times. If your teacher used Kami to assign the task, they may have recorded themselves reading it out loud for you. You would find that as a video or voice comment beside the task. You can also have the Kami app read the task out loud to you if there's no recording from your teacher. Just click the text to speech button and put the cursor where you'd like to begin. We suggest using the exemplar's problem solving procedure to get started on a task. For more information about that, check out our other video entitled Getting Started with Exemplar's Tasks. As you're reading, the markup tool can help you highlight important ideas or values if that's helpful to you. Assuming you're ready to get started with your solution, there are a number of features you can use in Kami to help craft your solution. If you'd rather speak than type, you can add in a voice or video comment. You might say, in this problem I have to find out, or I'm going to make a table of all the values and look for patterns. You could also type this information in using a text box on a blank part of the task page. Another helpful tool is the Equation Creator, which allows you to easily add in mathematical symbols or create fractions. The Drawing and Shapes tools will come in handy if you want to write out your math rather than type it, or when you're creating your representation. I could easily make a table, diagram, or number line with these. And if you want to make an edit, the eraser is here to help. Finally, we know that change is difficult. If you prefer and have the ability, you can still solve your work by hand. Take a picture with a smartphone or tablet and upload the image to the task page for your teacher to see. When you're all done, make sure your work is complete. Check the exemplar's rubric as a guide. Kami will automatically save your work, but it's also a good idea to double check. Finally, go back to your LMS or email and submit your work. Teachers, now you can follow the same steps to open a student's work and use the voice or video comment option to quickly give feedback. Keep checking the exemplar's remote learning page for more helpful tips on how to continue engaging with rich problem-solving tasks while learning remotely. <laughs>